Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and do they feel the same way as you. So one of my beautiful subscribers requested to look at the person on their mind and if they feel more friendship or romantic feelings towards them. So we're going to take a look at the person on your mind. This can be for a crush, situationship or any person where you don't know the way they feel towards you and I'm going to be completely honest while I do this reading. So thank you to the beautiful subscriber that requested this reading. I'm now going to show you your crystals for each pile. So for pile number one we have Larimar. For pile number two, we have How Light. And for pile number three, we have Strawberry Obsidian. So take a look at the pile you're most drawn to. I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. But of course, if you are drawn to more than one pile, always trust your intuition. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this Larimar crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at do they feel the same way as you? So on the left side we have your significator card which I'll show you in a bit. Um, we're going to have your cards here on the left side. In the middle we're going to have the connection and on the right side we're going to have their feelings towards you. As said in the intro this can be for a crush, situationship or anyone where you just don't know how they feel towards you. And I'm going to be completely honest while I do this reading. We're going to use the chrysalis tarot as well as the ethereal visions tarot and then at the end we may get some oracle cards for just some more information. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. But before I get started with your reading, i just like to thank and give a quick word to today's sponsorship, Keen. Many of you have asked me recently for personal readings, but unfortunately I'm not available for any right now. So I have brought you the next best thing, Keen. Keen connects you with gifted psychics, tarot readers, and astrologers like myself who are available 24 hours a day. So you can always get a reading whenever it suits you. All you have to do is create an account and you'll be able to choose from the hundreds of readers who are online right now. These readers each have unique specialties designed to provide a deeper understanding of your situation. You can choose whichever reader best suits your needs and you'll be able to connect with them via phone call or text chat. Getting confirmation or a second opinion from someone who can give you a straightforward answer is always best. And as a tarot reader, I can tell you that it is very hard reading tarot for myself sometimes as sometimes it doesn't make sense or is unclear. So even I resort to key. So let me tell you a little bit about some of my recent experience on Keen. I asked about my love life with my person. She explained to me how devoted he is and that our connection is only getting stronger and better, helping us to build a strong foundation that will only deepen moving into the holidays. She also mentioned us making future plans together no later than February lol, but we've already started so I'm very excited to see what unfolds then. She also mentioned that he's very loyal towards the ones he loves and that he doesn't even know what he did to get so lucky to be with me. She mentioned that I changed his world and that he feels like a little kid around me, which is so cute. 
Lastly, she said that she can see me getting married with him in the future and us having a home together where everyone will always gather together. The love reading I got was very beautiful and sweet and every detail mentioned was so accurate and on point. Though you can get any type of reading from these readers depending on what you are looking for. I'm so grateful for the reading I got from Keen through their amazing and gifted psychic tarot readers. That's why it's still best to get a personal psychic reading because it is direct only to your energies. Now here's your chance to get a personalized reading from Keen. As a new customer on Keen, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Go to trykeen.com slash psychic sign tarot or click the link in my description to save big on your first reading. Thank you Keen for bringing this beautiful opportunity and for sponsoring today's video. That's trykeen.com slash psychic siren tarot or click the link in my description box below to get your own personalized reading today at a huge discount. So getting back to your reading. So when I shuffled the cards for the intro, I asked the question, do they feel the same way as you? So we have the Ace of Mirrors here, which is the Ace of Cups. And when I close my eyes during your pile and I ask, do they feel the same way as you? I keep seeing mirrors. Let me not make any assumptions, but let's go ahead and pull your cards and see what shows up for you on how this person feels and if they feel the same way as you. So let's start out with the Chrysalis Tarot. So we're going to get some cards on the top. We're going to get some cards at the bottom. And I'll tell you the reason why I do that in a moment. So let's first get your feelings. Um, spirit guides are my pile number ones. May I please connect to pile number one's energy and the person on their mind? And we're looking at if the person on their mind feels the same way as them. So can we please look at pile number one's feelings towards their person first? We have the hunter with the chariot. One more card for pile number one's feelings towards them. So we have the ace of spirals, which is the ace of wands. And can we please look at their connection together right now? We have the Nine of Scrolls, which is the Nine of Swords. May we please look at their person's feelings towards them. So we have the Eight of Mirrors, which is the Eight of Cups. Their person's feelings towards them. And we have the healer with the page of mirrors. So now using my other tarot deck, we're going to see if we get any of the same cards you have. So I think you might understand what I mean. We have the five of spirals at the back of the deck, which is the five of wands. And like I said, I'm going to be completely honest during this reading. So spirit guides of pile one, may I please look into pile one's feelings towards their person two cards please so we have the ace of pentacles we have the ten of cups and now we're going to look at what the connection could be in the future the potential of that please spirit guides we have judgment interesting and now can we get last two cards for the person on their mind's feelings towards pile number one we have the empress and we have the knight of pentacles at the back of the deck we have the devil in reverse Okay, so my pile number one. So let's first look at the significator card you chose. We have the Ace of Mirrors, which is the Ace of Cups. And one thing I'm noticing within your pile is when I speak, my voice sounds very 
very weird. So there's some throat chakra energies here and like a little bit of a fear here, maybe on your side or their side. I feel maybe more on your side. Unlike maybe talking to this person or opening up to this person about your feelings. Um, or just taking action towards them in general because we have the hunter and the chariot. So what I'm really getting here with the little sea turtle here is your connection with this person. The advice from Spirit is to take it slow, to really move towards this person in a way where although you want to be in this chariot energy of fast-paced movement, as well as the Ace of Wands, there's a lot of attraction towards them on your side. His Ace of Wands reminds me of attraction and um, physical attraction, you know, physically being very drawn to the person. Although you have that, the advice here is to take things very slow and to get to know them. And with the Ace of Mirrors, since we have a mirror here, I think some of your feelings could be mirrored. But let me get into the reading first and like see see how it goes first before I say fully. Um, we do have two candle lights here. So what I do feel is you and this person, I feel what the mirrors may be trying to tell me is you and this person may be very similar. Um more than you actually realize and the more you get to know them you may realize that but the more you get to know them you may also realize they have a lot of light and you could also be spiritually and energetically drawn to them because of that because I feel you chose the Larimar crystal so I feel you're someone very clairsentient my pal ones and I feel like you on some level can feel energies so in some way shape or form you are very drawn to this person for a reason um, energetically and since this is water energy you know there's a lot of feelings in this pile so maybe you have a lot of feelings towards them or maybe the feelings are starting because the ace is, you know, a start of something new. So maybe you started crushing on this person. Or maybe you recently just started realizing you do have certain feelings towards them. And you wouldn't mind creating some kind of new connection with them. I feel like in some way they can inspire you a lot. Once you get to know them and slowly start to feel out their energies. What I do feel here is this person sees you as very angelic here. Since we have the angel wings and the nine of scrolls, they see you as very sweet since we have the bees. When I think of bees, bees make honey. So they could see you as very sweet like honey. And there is attraction they feel towards you as well with the Empress here. So the Empress is usually a very beautiful and aesthetically pleasing person. Regardless of your gender, this person finds you aesthetically pleasing to look at. And there is some attraction they feel towards you. But with the Empress, I feel, you know, the Empress takes it very slow. You know, it takes... This card is a very slow paced movement. It's very much like going with the flow and it's also Venus energy. So there is potential to move to more of a loving feeling here because Venus energy is the planet of love. Venus I feel here is showing up because there's like this appreciation for your outer beauty but also your inner beauty and what they have already seen so far. However, with the Eight of Mirrors here, Eight of Cups, I'm feeling like maybe they don't fully understand this yet. They don't fully get it yet because maybe they need to get to know you a little bit more. With the Nine of Scrolls, this is the Nine of Swords. So you could be feeling very worried like that they don't feel the same way as you or that they don't like you. And what I will say is Spirit is asking to let go of this fear. I know it's easier said than done, but Spirit is asking for you to let go of this fear. And with these scrolls, it kind of reminds me of like 
You know those artists when they write something and then they scrap it and then they put it down. And then they write something else, then they scrap it. It's giving me throat chakra energies. Like, I want to say this to you, but I'm like, scrap that. I, I, I can't say that. I want to say this to you. I'm like, scrap that. Don't say that. But the advice here from Spirit is to really take it slow with this person to get to know them. Um, to really build a stable foundation here with the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe even start some kind of friendship with this person because you may find that you really like their energy and their vibe. And you may find that they're very vibrant in some way, that they that they inspire you and that they they have this energy like the candle, you know, vibrant and some kind of fiery energy here. It doesn't have to be that they're a fire sign, but it just means they could sort of light up a fire of passion within you. But when I look at the yellow candle, I'm kind of getting the vibe of friendship too, if that makes sense, and like the golden mirror too. I feel with a golden mirror, maybe that would represent... This connection could turn into something quite valuable, but the advice here keeps coming up to take it slow, to really grow into it. And to take action towards this person, but in a way where you are grounding that passion, okay? It's kind of hard for me to describe what I feel here, but I feel this person does feel attraction towards you, but there's this feeling here of them maybe needing to get to know you a little bit better before they can fully be secure in their feelings because I feel with the Knight of Pentacles here this is someone that usually when they are attracted to someone they usually take it very slow they usually really get to know the person and really take it slow and take consistent action and this person may be thinking of taking action or getting to know you because when we think of bees bees are like that busy busy bee you know so this person could be also thinking of taking action towards you but may not necessarily be fully crashing on you yet because there's a feeling here of maybe needing to get to know you a little bit a little bit better first before they can fully decide on that because I feel like this is a type of person that won't necessarily say they have a crush until they get to know the person and until they really understand who the person is. So I'd say this person does feel the same in the sense of attraction, but it's not to say that they will never feel the same way. It's just to say that they need to get to know you a little bit better. Does that make sense? So what I will say in this pile is the reason why Spirit says to let go of worries is because we have the judgment card here. And what I take from this is whatever is meant to be will be. I feel you're very spiritually protected. One, from energies where, and I'm not saying this person is negative energy, that's not what I'm saying at all, but what I'm saying is you're very protected from people with negative intentions towards you since we have the devil in reverse and we have the five of wands at the other back of the deck. So it's like you're protected from people that may have negative intentions towards you or may not be able to give you what you need or may not be fully healthy, healthily emotionally available. You're protected from people like that. Not to say that they're bad people, but like if it's not the right time for them to create a healthy connection with you yet, you're protected from that. Or if they're not fully ready to create a healthy connection and they're still, you know, learning lessons, then you're protected from creating a connection with them. So I take it with the judgment card. It's like if this person is meant to be in your life, they're going to be in your life. And if they're not ready, spirit is not going to let them come into your life romantically. Does that make sense? So it's like, it's not to say this person has a negative energy. I actually feel a really good energy from them. But like I said, if they're not ready, it could not be what you need at the moment or what you, what you actually want and spirit could see that. So 
What I'd say here as advice is to take action towards this person, to get to know them slowly and to see how things fall into place because with judgment I'm getting like whatever is meant to be will be and it will fall in place exactly as it's supposed to be. So as much as our fears and worries are valid, you know, try to look at it in the perspective of whatever is meant to be will be. So I feel you may be looking for something more serious with the Ten of Cups here. And I feel you may be you know, you do feel attraction towards them, but you also do want something a little bit more stable with the Ace of Pentacles, you know, get to know them a little bit more physically, spend more time with them. And I'd say do that, go for it. Um, like I said, they are showing up with the bees here. So I take it as they'd be open to taking action towards you and to getting to know you. They're definitely open towards that. And if you want this, this is what you want. Spirit is going to give you exactly this, whether it's with them or with someone else better suited for you. So that's what I want to say so far. Since we have the healer here, um, they see you to have a lot of healing energy and they do feel like, they do feel like, you know, you have a lot of good energy and they like your vibe. And since we have the Page of Cups here, so they feel like you're someone very dreamy in some way. They feel like you're someone with a lot of physical attraction since you're showing up with, as the Empress. And they feel like you're someone maybe also creative. Or you just have that creative look to you, like maybe that's their first impression of you. They also feel like you're someone that doesn't take life too seriously and you're sort of like a dreamer or a visionary. Um, that's what I feel here. But as we know, the Page of Cups, if you look at the right away tarot, they have a fish in the cup. So it's like they do feel some things, but... It's not solid enough, the connection, to be able to decipher, like, yes, they they totally feel the same way. But since we see the mirrors here, if they were to take action towards you, and since we see a butterfly here on top of his head, those feelings could transform into something more and they can grow with number three because I see three is growth. Um, so now let's take a look at why you feel so drawn to them. Yeah, from your end. So why does my pile number ones feel so drawn to this person? So we have the Ten of Scrolls, the Ten of Swords. Why do they feel so drawn to them? We have the Artist with the Queen of Stones. Wasn't I talking about that? Are you artistic in some way? This is Queen of Pentacles energy. Or are they artistic in some way? We have the Three of Mirrors, Three of Cups. So Three of Cups to me reminds me of friendship. Um, it reminds me of this type of energy of creating a connection with someone and feeling a sense of celebration around them. Um, you know, I'm feeling a sense of excitement here in this pile to get to know them. And with the Queen of Pentacles showing up, they could make you feel very safe. Here we see the two candlelights again. They could inspire you in some way. You could feel energetically like you resonate with them on that level. And you could feel like a lot of your interests match up in some way even if you don't fully know their interests they could you know appreciate some of the same things as you even if you're not an artist per se even if you're not creative per se let's say you two like the same types of movies but you don't realize that or let's say you two like the same types of fun activities but you don't realize that yet um it, it's giving me that type of vibe and I feel like with the butterfly here they could really transform that that energy within you waiting to come out because they say that in psychology we're subconsciously drawn to people that can bring out more of an energy within us because I feel you're more of this 
kind of person that is very much connected to your own inner feelings and you're very much connected to that dreamer and visionary energy within you but I feel on some level this person is going to teach you to ground those dreams into the physical and they're going to bring a lot of stability within your life if you were to start some kind of friendship or connection with them um, they would teach you to be a little bit more courageous. You could be drawn to their courageous and bold nature since, you know, we have a lion here and the tiger. So that's a lot of courage, bravery, boldness, confidence. Um, they could be a very confident person and that could be why you're drawn to them. And something about them, their energy could make you feel safe in some way. And I feel like in some way they will bring, you know, like a lot of the stable energy in your life and a lot of this grounded energy in your life. And I feel the throat chakra energies again. So they'll help you feel more confident when speaking up for yourself. Um, I feel like if you have been hurt before in the past or you have not really felt like you got what you wanted in love I feel like in some way this person will help you become more confident while opening up to people just communicating with people in general and I feel this person will show you a different side to you that you haven't seen before um, I kind of see it like it's a side that's already within you but this person is going to plant that seed and help that side of you grow, which is more of that grounded side of you that is waiting to come out. And they say that, well, they don't say that's something I've learned from tarot. Like the spirit guides always say something like sometimes we're drawn to people for a reason because they can bring in an energy for us that we need. Like especially if they have already integrated or mastered that energy and we're not solid within that yet, they can bring an energy within that that we need. Um, I've noticed that in some friendships or relationships, like if they're very different but similar and they have some different qualities, you know, you take on more of that from them and you learn to become like that if that's needed within your life. It's not like you're becoming like them per se, but it's more so... Um, Maybe you need that energy and you're taking it on a little bit and maybe they're taking on some of your like traits that they need to develop or integrate. Does that make sense? So now let's look at them like um, are they just as drawn to pile number one as pile number one is? So we have the sorceress with the high priestess. We have the moon and we have the five of spirals. Okay, so what I will say is on an energetic level, they feel like you're very different on paper. Like, maybe not on an energetic level, on paper they feel like you're very different. But with the keys here, I feel like if you were to take a key and to um, to take it slow with this person and get to know them, they'd maybe see that you're more similar than they realize. Does that make sense? Because they see you being very connected to your emotions and they see you in this very spiritual light, which at first they may not feel like you two are so similar so in their feelings, they may feel like you're very different in some way, but they could also be spiritually drawn to you with the moon and the sorceress, um, the high priestess. They could be intuitively drawn to you. They could feel you have this very dreamy vibe that's going on for you. Um, but like I said earlier, as they get to know you, they might see that, oh, you're not so different after all. You may have a lot of similarities since you chose the mirror well you didn't choose it but you were drawn to this pile so as they get to know you they may realize whoa we're actually not so different after all we actually have 
some similarities in our personality traits and with the sorceress, I guess, if you were to create this, you know, they could feel more energetically drawn to you once they get used to you in that way. With the moon, they could feel like you're very deep and they could feel drawn to that quality about you. But I'd say I want to just close our eyes and see what spirit has to say about this. I'd say, I'd say like they'd have to grow into the energy to fully, to fully um, feel it, if that makes sense. I don't know how to really describe this energy. Okay, so Spirit is showing me a vision of me in my younger years <laughs> um, and how like when I was younger, my dad made me try sushi, like when I was like a toddler. And at first I didn't like... I, I don't know what my reaction to it was, but then when I tried it, like, I didn't know what it would taste like, you know, and then when I tried it, I enjoyed it so much, and I just wanted, like, he said I ate, like, 14 plates of it, um, but at first I was a bit hesitant because I was a toddler, and I probably haven't tried new things before, but it's like that, um, and then I really, and actually ended up enjoying it, and I, Sushi is my favorite food to this day. <laughs> so it's like, um, this person hasn't tried you out metaphorically before, but once they get to spend time with you, they may realize that, whoa, I actually really like this person. I actually really vibe with this person. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah. How can they take action towards this person? Advice on that. So we have the five of scrolls, the five of swords. I'd say don't, don't beat yourself up before you even start. Like here we see the paper. So I'm getting communication. Like don't try to stifle that communication before you even start. We have the ravens with the magician. So this is a advice that you can create this. Um, and we see two ravens here. So Keep in mind, you may actually be more similar than you realize. That's something I keep seeing. Uh, we have the Ten of Mirrors. We have the Dreamer with the Knight of Mirrors. So dream big, pile one. That's what you do best. So dream big. You know, really don't listen to the illusions of our worries. And Knight of Pentacles is taking action, you know, but taking it in a very slow way and grow into that does that make sense and really dream big but also take the action towards that because the magician creates believe that you can create this and you will see it come into fruition if it's meant to be you know at least try communicate with them that's what i'm getting here uh let's close off with some oracle cards uh any messages from this person's higher self to pile one on moving forward and progressing into these feelings we have inner earth with you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings we have we the hathors with deep love mother's milk birth as a portal this is telling you you can create this because a mother creates from her womb we see this energy of creation all over your reading like you can create this reality if you really connect to that energetically, like the law of attraction, you know. We have you got the love with codependency and boundaries. Okay, so at the back of the deck, we have I'm sorry. So what I'm getting um, behind this, we have the golden children. I'm getting that the reason they may feel this way now is because... There's something you remind them of within their childhood that they may not realize right now. I don't know really how to describe this, but the best way I can say is like, you could have a trait that someone in their family had. For most of you, it's a mother that they feel like, okay, like, I'm getting this vibe, like, let's say I see a person in public and I instantly say, like, 
I don't know, like, I don't know if I want to get to know them, even though I haven't given them a chance yet. It's not to say this person's like that towards you, but I'm just giving an example here. And let's say that I'm saying that, but I don't know why I'm saying that. And maybe this person reminds me of someone I've known in childhood where they have a similar trait or quality, but it's not completely the same. Does that make sense? So let's say their mother was really dreamy, but then their mother also had another trait or quality of like anger or something, for example, but you're not an angry person, but you have that dreamy quality. Subconsciously, it's reminding them of that. Does that make sense? So I see it like that. That's why maybe energetically they're not fully in it yet. But I think once they get to know you, you know, that that's something that will um, kind of vanish. Spirit is showing me like it will kind of vanish away because I think they'll see that it's not fully the same. You're not fully like the person that you remind them of. Um, and that may not even be something conscious. It's like a subconscious thing. But what we're seeing here from their higher self is you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. So these challenges that you may feel in this moment of worry, like let that fall away because you will survive this. You know, we will see some new beginnings begin to grow here. Um, if you really take action towards this love, you can see this love grow like earth. Um, so this is what I have for you. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there my pal number twos, if you chose this How Light Crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at do they feel the same way as you? So this can be for a crush situationship or any person where you don't know exactly the way they feel towards you. So the significator card that came out for you is the Two of Mirrors, which is the Two of Cups. I'll show you what it looks like in a bit up close. But before I get into that, please be aware this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. We're going to be using the Chrysalis Tarot as well as the Ethereal Visions Tarot. And on the left side, we're going to have your feelings. In the middle, we're going to have the connection and the future of what the connection could be. And then on the right side, we're going to have their feelings towards you. At the end, we may get some oracle cards for messages from this person. But before we get started with your reading, I'd just like to thank and give a quick word to today's sponsorship, Keen. Many of you have asked me recently for personal readings, but unfortunately I'm not available for any right now. So I have brought you the next best thing, Keen. Keen connects you with gifted psychics, tarot readers, and astrologers like myself who are available 24 hours a day. So you can always get a reading whenever it suits you. All you have to do is create an account and you'll be able to choose from the hundreds of readers who are online right now. These readers each have unique specialties designed to provide a deeper understanding of your situation. You can choose whichever reader best suits your needs and you'll be able to connect with them via phone call or text chat. Getting confirmation or a second opinion from someone who can give you a straightforward answer is always best. And as a tarot reader, I can tell you that it is very hard reading tarot for myself sometimes as sometimes it doesn't make sense or is unclear. So even I resort to Keen. So let me tell you a little bit about some of my recent experience on Keen. I asked about my love life with my person. She explained to me how devoted he is and that our connection is only getting stronger and better, helping us to build a strong foundation that will only deepen moving into the holidays. She also mentioned us making future plans together, no later than February, lol. But we've already started, so I'm very excited to see what unfolds then. She also mentioned that he's very loyal towards the ones he loves and that he doesn't even know what he did to get so lucky to be with me. She mentioned that I changed his world and that he feels like a little kid around me, which is so cute. Lastly, she said that she can see me getting married with him in the future and us having a home together where everyone will always gather together. The love reading I got was very beautiful and sweet and every detail mentioned was so accurate and on point. Though you can get any type of 
reading from these readers, depending on what you are looking for. I'm so grateful for the reading I got from Keen through their amazing and gifted psychic tarot readers. That's why it's still best to get a personal psychic reading because it is directed only to your energies. Now here's your chance to get a personalized reading from Keen. As a new customer on Keen, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Go to trykeen.com slash psychic science tarot or click the link in my description to save big on your first reading. Thank you Keen for bringing this beautiful opportunity and for sponsoring today's video. That's trykeen.com slash psychic science tarot or click the link in my description box below to get your own personalized reading today at a huge discount. So getting back to your reading pile number two. The card you chose or have is the Two of Mirrors, the Two of Cups. And when I shuffled the cards for the intro, I asked the question, do they feel the same way as you? So let's go ahead and see your cards and see what this person feels towards you. So spirit guides on my pile number twos are starting out with the Chrysalis Tarot, as said before. Um, may I please connect to pile number two's energy and the person on their mind? We're looking at if the person on their mind feels the same way as my pile twos. So may we first please look at pile number two's feelings towards the person on their mind. We have the six of stones, six of pentacles. And we have the Nine of Mirrors, Nine of Cups. This is a big wish of yours. Okay. Um, Psyche at the back of the deck with the world. So that's let me know like this could potentially transform. So spirit guides of my pile number twos. Can we look at the connection they have currently to the person on their mind? We have the Illusionist with the Knight of Stones. feel another card wants to come out, so let's just do this. We have the Mime with the Page of Spirals. And the person on their mind's feelings towards them. We have the Eight of Spirals, which is the Eight of Wands. And we have the Healer, which is the Page of Mirrors. At the back of the deck, we have the Seven of Spirals, which is the Seven of um, Wands. Now, the reason why we're using another tarot deck is to see if the same cards pop out from the other tarot deck to see if their feelings are similar. Uh, it could, it could not. So, Spirit Guides are my pile number twos. May I please get two cards for how my pile number twos feel towards the person on their mind. So we have the Hermit. And we have the Ace of Cups. Sorry about that. Okay. The future potential of what this connection could be. We have the King of Swords. Let's just pull two cards for you. And the Two of Swords. Um, and their person's feelings towards them. Okay. There's so many cards wanting to come out. We have the Emperor. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so we have a bunch of extra cards here. I'm just going to put it down for a moment. At the back of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. So when it comes to you and the person on your mind, what I keep getting here is you two are actually very similar. You two actually have very similar souls, soul essences, and you two have very similar life paths. 
It's not to say that your lives have to be totally the same, but if you were to, you know, communicate with this person more with the King of Swords, this is the potential. King of Swords and Two of Swords makes me feel if you make that choice to communicate with this person, you might start to see things unfold or you might not depending on their feelings towards you. But what I will say here is you have you have a choice or a potential to make a choice here to make this dream real and not just an illusion. What do I mean by this? If we what spirit is saying in your specific pile is if we are just dreaming but we're not doing anything about it it can be a little bit of an illusion and that's not for every case but for your pile specifically and you know we have the mime you know when the mime pretends like okay they have um this box there and it's not really real but it's it's like pretend you know yes that can bring things in the law of attraction it can attract that energy to us but with the knight of pentacles we need to take action towards that and that's the advice here on your connection because the connection is pretty much i wouldn't say non-existent but the energy can be created um, if we take action towards it, if we step towards it in a consistent but slow way, because the Knight of Pentacles takes action slowly towards their goals. But since we see the butterfly on the mime, the energy can transform to non-existent, to moving forward to something more with the aid of wands. Okay, and it can happen very quickly where the energy changes if you were to take action and communicate to this person. I think this person's open to taking action towards you because we have the Eight of Wands and we have the Healer with the Bees. And when we think of bees, bees are busy, busy, busy. So I think this person is like open to taking action towards you, open to getting to know you. Um... And what I'm noticing here is things could change along the line where their wishes could be the same as yours because these kind of remind me of shooting stars. So in some way, like as things progress, as you take action towards them, I think they would be open to that and would be open to getting to know you, but in a slow way. And then I think things will progress in a way where they may actually be wishing for you as well later in the future. But the potential of that can only be created if we create a choice to communicate to the person and um, get to know them in a slow way. So then the energy can transform from, non from non-existent into a real wish that we can feel, taste, touch, see. Does that make sense? So I see your feelings towards this person is that you feel you want to be generous towards them with the Six of Pentacles. You want to be generous towards your time, your energy. Um, really step towards them and give to them in some way. Maybe get to know them a little bit with the Hermit. Uh, the Hermit gives me this vibe of spending one-on-one -on -one time together and offering to do that or... Um, maybe even the hermit could be like thinking a little bit about how we actually feel about them or thinking a little bit about what we want to do to open up a key to a door since we see a key here, the shape of the key, um, is giving this vibe of like internal thinking. What would I say to them if I had to talk to them as an example of the energy, <laughs> um, so with the six of pentacles, you want to give to them, but maybe with the hermit, like we want to think about, okay, how do we, how do we propose this to them in some way where, where they will take this offer with the ace of cups, since we see you wanting to offer some sort of like 
feelings towards them, even if you're not sharing your feelings, but like, what I mean by this is like, let's just say talking to them, starting something where you talk to them and then later on you can offer that love if it grows to something. I see you very much having pure intentions towards the person with the angel wings here. And I feel like they do see you as a pure soul. They see you as a little bit angelic. Some of you may relate to part one. It's very similar. You actually had the same card come out with this one. Um, but different in a way. And since you're showing up as a swan here, this person sees you as very gentle, very graceful. They see you as someone that moves with this energy with a queen of pentacles that is very like grounded and down to earth. Yeah, I think you're different than pile number one in a way, but there's a similar energy. Okay, but anyways, queen of pentacles gives me the vibe like this person sees you as someone that takes it slow and steady and really um, goes towards your goals. They could see you as very talented too is what I'm getting here. And when you do certain things, you make it look very effortless. Um, when you really wish, you wish big, but you also generously give your time and efforts towards that. And that's something this person sees within you. Um, they also see you as very delicate and like they see you as a person, like when you have friends around you or people you love around you, you really devote your time and love to them. They could see you to have a very romantic essence to you too. Um, I feel like they could be romantically attracted to you and sensually attracted to you, but they could also be attracted to your vibe with the healer. They could think you have a very good energy um, and they could feel drawn to your energy in some way. They could feel like you're very sweet since we have the bees bees and honey um, they could feel like you're very sweet but also very gentle in a way and I feel like if feelings were to progress because you're so gentle they could later on feel to be very protective over you um, and they could feel like on some level you could be similar but they don't fully know you yet to say because I feel here with the emperor um, there's someone that wants more of a stable connection if they were to create a connection with the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. I think there's a type of person like Pile Number One's energy where when they want to create a connection, where when they want to create a connection, they want it to be stable. They want, they want to really take action towards you in a way where they're building something with you where it's solid you know I think this one person wants something more solid and more long term but there is some sensual attraction here and there is a feeling of them being open to taking action towards you um on some way they don't fully feel the same way as you but I feel they're open to it if that makes sense. So I don't see them wishing yet, but it could transform in a way where if you were to take action and communicate to them and make that choice there, that could progress for on their side where their side's feelings become more. I hope that makes sense. And since you have grapes here, there's a lot of good luck um, for this. So what I was saying about your soul essence essences feeling very similar it kind of feels like you two are part of the same soul family um, and it kind of feels like you two have very similar energies it's like if I had to put this in a way to describe for for like our human brains to understand because it's kind of like complex the way spirit is showing it to me it's almost like um you know how Powerpuff Girls were made by sugar, spice, and everything nice? And they all came out very similar, but they're different in a way. But they have a similar essence of being made. It's like that. Um, like you were, of course, maybe we're made by the universe, by God, all in similar ways. But 
I feel like your souls are very similar and if I had to explain it in a way I could even understand because I'm not fully understanding the way spirit showing me spirit showing me like aura colors and you know how everyone has a different energy they operate in and that aura color could show the energy we operate in so let's say one person has a blue aura it's not to say your aura color is blue and this person maybe also has a blue aura you'd have a similar energy or let's say it was like turquoise and blue it's very similar so it's an energetic match but when we maybe see someone with a blue aura and the other person has a red aura it's like not fully an energetic match so they kind of have to blend a little bit and get to know each other a little bit that's why spirit is showing me some people you can just click with on a way where you just click with them very quickly because you understand things very similarly you look at life in a very similar way maybe you have the same sense of humor maybe you've been through similar things it's like that then you just click with very quickly but whereas with some people the energy is very different where we have to really get to know them a little bit more before that transforms. So with you, I'm feeling like if you were to get to know this person and if you were to communicate with them, you could click very fast in a way where you won't even realize like, whoa, that happened so quickly. So that's what I'm getting here. And the reason I say that, the reason I say you're so similar is because we have two lotus flowers here. And the lotus flower is rebirth. So you may have gone through similar things in life and healed from similar things in life. And because we have two swans here, you may also be very similar on an energetic level where they may be the same as you where they very much devote themselves to those they love they very much do have a pure soul and pure intentions towards people in general and they're also the same in that level do you get what i mean okay so let's pull the rest of your cards so we have the seven of cups for their feelings we have the four of pentacles we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Tower. And we have the Ace of Swords. I think in some way this person does like your energy and they do feel drawn to you and they do feel sensually attracted to you. But I also feel like this person is going through a lot right now. I feel like this person is going through a lot right now. I feel like they're releasing a lot of illusions associated to pain and things they've gone through in their life with the tower. And the ten of wands gives me this vibe of emotional baggage. So I think they're going through their own healing or rebirth or transformation right now. And I think now would maybe not be the best time to you know start a connection with them but the advice spirit is giving here with the ace of swords is to maybe start talking to them now where you can build up that passion with the with these two flames here where that passion can build up and where like i feel you may talk to this person a little bit and get to know them a little bit and then they'll start thinking about you a little bit more because this kind of reminds me of a thought bubble. And then in some way, I feel like it will kind of melt away a lot of their stresses. It's either work stresses or um, things they're holding onto from previous um, emotional baggages. Like, I don't know what this is, but it's it's something they're releasing here. So it gives me this feeling of if they were to get to know you, you could lighten up their mood a little bit and you could progress in some way where when they are at a place where they're in a mentally healthy space, then they can think about you more and they can take action towards you more. So Spirit is giving an example like, you know, when you apply for a visa, first you put in the paperwork and then, you know, maybe it takes some time and then they think about it for a while and then they call you again and then it's a little bit of a process 
it's like that as you get to know this person. Maybe you talk a little bit today. You don't talk tomorrow or maybe the next week, but maybe they think about you again and then they talk to you again and then the mood gets a little bit lighter while they're going through their own journey and then the energy progresses where later on you start talking more and you start taking action towards each other more if it's meant to be. So that's kind of what I see there. So I want to ask like why you feel so drawn to them. We got some of that, but I just want to get anything more about that. So we have the three of spirals, three of wands, and we have the ten of mirrors. A lot of the things about how you grew up, the tree is reminding me of roots and family and ancestry. The way you grew up was very similar to each other. It's mirrored in a way. And that's why you feel drawn to them, but also your soul essences, like I said before. Um, and with the Three of Wands, I feel like you could want to root a foundation with them. Because I see you wanting love with the Ten of Cups. I see you wanting love and I see you wanting to create that love and, you know, communicate with them more. Because birds remind me of communication because I'm hearing birds sing outside. So I see you wanting to communicate with them more and I see you wanting to plan something for the future in order to grow into this. Um, so are they drawn to pile number two just as much? We have the two of scrolls. We have Aradin. Arad I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, with death. And we have the three of scrolls in the reverse. Spirit is showing me it could grow. Because we have Gaia also wanting to come out with the Empress. So this person sees you as very attractive, like I said before. But I see them, like I said before, healing from heartache, healing from something painful that happened to them. This is the Three of Swords. Um, they're letting go of a lot right now. And I think they're not really focusing on you too much yet because they're kind of in their own pain and that's all they're thinking about right now does that make sense but what I will say is it can grow with Gaia here because when I think of Gaia I think of the earth and it can grow and I think they do feel a little bit like they've grown up in a way very similar to you and they do feel like your energy makes them feel at peace. Your energy feels very peaceful to them and it feels very much nurturing to them and loving to them and that's something they are drawn to but I think they're so focused on their own inner pain and turmoil they're healing from that they're not so focused on you yet but it can grow into something more if you were to make a choice here with the Two of Swords. They do see you as very magical with the unicorn here. And that's something they are drawn to. Um, but with the aid of um, swords at the back of the deck, they're kind of stuck in this at the moment. That's why I said like they're not, they're going through a lot right now at the moment. So I think right now it's not the best time to show everything that they're feeling because they're not so focused on, on love yet. They're so focused on healing if that makes sense so what is uh pile two's advice on taking action towards them we have the celtic owl with the hangman so hangman is all about waiting but also trusting your intuition with the owl so when you intuitively feel you're ready to um take action towards them then do that you can do that now if you feel intuitively it's the right time to start talking and communicating. 
But just be patient is what I get with the hangman because the hangman is all about waiting. We have the acrobat with a page of stones. So the acrobat is flexible. Be flexible to changes. Be flexible to whatever happens, even if it doesn't happen exactly the way you expect. Be open to... Be open to learning about them with the Page of Pentacles. Be open to being a little bit more flexible because what I get from this is like it may not go exactly the way you expect, but if you're flexible towards the changes, you may actually realize it's better than the way you expect. Okay, and then we have Divine Child with the Hierophant. So I feel like in some way, like your childhood selves are very similar, like your inner child and the things you went through in childhood, the, the way you were born, the way you were raised is very similar. So I think on some level you can connect on that. And with Divine Child, I feel like if you're very playful with them, and you very much create some kind of friendship with them, and it starts off as very innocent, I feel like it can progress and grow to something more. Um, Kind of like, let's joke together, let's laugh together. I get that feeling here, like, where it's very lighthearted at first, but with the butterflies, it can later transform and grow into something more. Since children grow into adults, so it's like a baby connection growing into something bigger. Um, with the candle here, I get this very vibrant feelings to bring a vibrant energy into their life. Maybe that's something they need right now. And with the shell, I'm getting the vibe of, um, get out of your shell a little bit, get out of your comfort zone a little bit. And the Hierophant is giving this vibe of be open to learning about them. So we have the ace of spirals at the back of the deck. You know, take your passion towards that to create something physical. Let's take a look at the oracle cards and end off here. So we're using the starseed tarot, the starseed oracle, sorry. Um, so spirit guides of pile number twos. Maybe please look into messages from their higher self to pile two. We have the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. We have cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. And we have double mission with light work, a star seed, serve the world by being you. Okay, uh, lessons is wanting to pop out with Earth School. And at the back of the deck, we have activated Earth, power places, Lee lines, trust where you led. So what their highest self is saying to you, you are drawn to this person for a reason. Trust that intuitive feeling within you and take steps towards them. With the golden children here, I'm getting the vibe from their higher self to, like when you think of children and children playing on a playground together, they create a friendship. Um, I, I feel this vibe of like creating a friendship with them and like I said earlier, you two having very similar ways of growing up as children or very similar things you went through as children in your lives. Um, and I feel like in some way your inner child will come out together and be very playful together. But what they're saying is this person is going through so much right now that to not expect too much, but to to expect that the reason why you're drawn to them will be revealed and to follow that intuitive feeling within you but not to expect too much. Um, to kind of realize you to have a purpose for meeting, you two were meant to meet for a reason and you two are drawn towards each other for a reason. You may learn certain lessons from this person whether it's short-lived or long-term, whatever happens is meant to be. That's that's the way I see it. So don't take it like personal if, if this doesn't work out or if 
Because it can work out, it can grow into something more, but don't take it personal if it doesn't work out, is what their higher self is saying, because everything that happens with this person is the way it's meant to be, because everything has a purpose and the way everything falls into place is the way it's meant to be. Um, so let's say, for example, let's say it is short-lived, but they do teach you something, or they do open up your heart, or they do... Um, show you something about yourself, then maybe in the next connection, progressing, moving forward, you needed that. Or maybe it isn't short-lived and maybe it ends up being a long, happy connection. You know, we never know. But I think the message here is to try, at least try and make that choice and communicate. So this is what I have for you pile number two i really hope this reading resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i can't wait to see you in my next reading bye hi there my pile number threes if you chose this strawberry obsidian crystal this reading is for you we're going to be taking a look at do they feel the same way as you so this can be for a crush situationship or any person if you're not sure if they feel exactly the same way as you okay please be aware this is a general reading only take what resonates leave the rest we're going to be using the chrysalis tarot as well as the ethereal visions tarot and i'm going to be as completely honest in this reading Okay, we may get some starseed oracle cards at the end uh, to end off the reading. But what I'm going to do is, this is your significator card, the lovers. I'll show you it in a bit. On the left side, we're going to have your feelings. In the middle, we're going to have the connection and the potential of what the connection could be. And on the right side, we're going to have their feelings towards you. So this was the card I pulled when I asked the question, do they feel the same way as you? So I'll show you it in a bit. But before we get started with your reading, i just like to thank and give a quick word to today's sponsorship, Keen. Many of you have asked me recently for personal readings, but unfortunately I'm not available for any right now. So I have brought you the next best thing, Keen. Keen connects you with gifted psychics, tarot readers, and astrologers like myself who are available 24 hours a day. So you can always get a reading whenever it suits you. All you have to do is create an account and you'll be able to choose from the hundreds of readers who are online right now. These readers each have unique specialties designed to provide a deeper understanding of your situation. You can choose whichever reader best suits your needs and you'll be able to connect with them via phone call or text chat. Getting confirmation or a second opinion from someone who can give you a straightforward answer is always best. And as a tarot reader, I can tell you that it is very hard reading tarot for myself sometimes as sometimes it doesn't make sense or is unclear. So even I resort to key. So let me tell you a little bit about some of my recent experience on Keen. I asked about my love life with my person. She explained to me how devoted he is and that our connection is only getting stronger and better, helping us to build a strong foundation that will only deepen moving into the holidays. She also mentioned us making future plans together no later than February lol, but we've already started so I'm very excited to see what unfolds then. She also mentioned that he's very loyal towards the ones he loves and that he doesn't even know what he did to get so lucky to be with me. She mentioned that I changed his world and that he feels like a little kid around me, which is so cute. Lastly, she said that she can see me getting married with him in the future and us having a home together where everyone will always gather together. The love reading I got was very beautiful and sweet and every detail mentioned was so accurate and on point. Though you can get any type of reading from these readers depending on what you are looking for. I'm so grateful for the reading I got from Keen through their amazing and gifted psychic tarot readers. That's why it's still best to get a personal psychic reading because it is direct only to your energies. Now here's your chance to get a personalized reading from Keen. As a new customer on Keen, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Go to trykeen.com slash psychic sign tarot or click the link in my description to save big on your first reading. Thank you Keen for bringing this beautiful opportunity and for sponsoring today's video. That's trykeen.com slash psychic sign tarot or click the link in my description box below to get your own personalized reading today at a huge discount. 
So getting back to your reading. So the card that came out is the lover's card. Very beautiful. So now let's start pulling your cards to see exactly how this person feels about you. So let's start with the tarot cards. So spirit guides on my pile number threes may please connect to the energy of my pile number threes and the person on their mind. May please connect to the energy of my pile number threes and the person on their mind. May I please first have pile number one's feelings towards them. So we have psyche and the world. And I feel this card, we have the seven of spirals, which is the seven of wands. Their current connection right now. We have the ace of spirals, which is the ace of wands. And their person's feelings towards them right now. We have the Ace of Stones, which is the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Three of Stones, which is the Three of Pentacles. At the back of the deck, we have the Four of Mirrors, which is the Four of Cups. Now we're using a different tarot deck to see if any of the cards match up. So, Spirit Guides of my pile number threes. Uh, can we please look into pile number one's feelings towards the person on their mind? We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Six of Wands. And the potential of their connection in the future. We have the fool. And what their feelings are towards pile three. We have the five of wands. And the nine of wands. Can I please clarify why we have the Five of Wands and Nine of Wands here? So we have the Moon. Uh, at the back of the deck, we have the World. So when I was um, shuffling these tarot cards, I saw the Six of Cups and the Five of Swords want to pop out. So I'm getting for some of you, you're asking about a past person. And for others of you, you're asking about someone you've had a past life connection with. And I feel in your past life connection, it was karmic if you're asking about a car, um, about a past life connection. Like, this is not a past person. Like, it's new. But then it was karmic in the past life. And for others of you, like, if this is a past person, maybe something happened between the two of you that caused you to separate or maybe there was some some elements of betrayal here in this connection um, and if it wasn't in this life then I feel like they could have possibly betrayed you in a past life and you could have possibly had that type of connection where you were always in conflict with each other creating more challenges with each other so if you relate to that past life energy I feel like maybe the reason why you're intuitively drawn to them right now with psyche is to have some kind of soul evolution because psyche is the goddess of the soul and she's the butterfly goddess the world card is the ending of a cycle Ending of the cycle of defensiveness and conflict. And to transform the both of you and grow in soul evolution. And if it's not like that, if it's not past life energy, then the reason why maybe, maybe you want to fix things. Maybe you want to grow from the past and heal the past. 
transform and evolve from the past as one. And I feel on some level they do feel the same way with the Ace of Stones, the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Stones. If this is a past life connection, you know, they could feel maybe not on a conscious level, maybe on a more subconscious level with the moon, they could feel a little bit like on one side of them, they do feel like they would be open to starting something with you with the Ace of Pentacles. They would be open to getting to know you and, you know, creating some kind of friendship with you or and letting that progress and, and grow into something more. But on the other hand, there is some other part of them that sort of wants to avoid you because part of their soul remembers the conflict and remembers the karmic nature of your connection. And if this is something that happened in this life, on one hand, they do feel drawn towards fixing things and working as a team together with the Three of Pentacles. Maybe on an intuitive level, they feel like that in this life, if this is a past life connection, and if it's like happened in this life, then they feel that on an intuitive level, like I could, you know, work together with Pile 3 and try to work as a team. But then on the other hand, there's another part of their brain telling them, yeah, but like the last time we were together, we fought so much or we had so much conflict or so many challenges that it just didn't work out. So whatever way you relate to, take it as it resonates. If it hasn't happened in this life, then that is past life energy I'm picking up on. And if it has happened in this life, then it's still the same energy, but just in a different way. So if it hasn't happened before, then these are subconscious feelings and emotions and intuitive feelings and emotions with the moon and the owls. And if it has happened in this lifetime, then these are feelings they have towards you, but also intuitive feelings where it's like the one side of them intuitively feels, yes, I can try to make this work, but the other side of them feels like emotionally, like why, why would I try here? Because there's so many challenges. So like I said, I'm going to be completely honest in this reading I think one part of them is in and one part of them is not. So it's very confusing with the moon here. There's an energy of confusion in this person and the way they feel towards you. But what I will say, if you hear gardeners in the background, I apologize in advance. I'll just try talk louder. Um, they're making noise next door. But what I will say is, the significator card you chose is the lovers. And I feel the energies of the throat chakra here. And so you two are learning lessons since you chose the strawberry obsidian. When I think of strawberries, I think of sweetness. You two are learning lessons surrounding how to make a choice. Because the lovers isn't just about love. It's also about choice. It's also about commitment. You're being given a chance for the both of you. To take your free will and make a choice to be sweeter and kinder with your words. Even in moments of conflict. Even in moments of challenge. Because I feel in some way like energetically you sometimes rub each other the wrong way. Or you could have done that in the past life or this life in the future. And maybe they're feeling that on an energetic level. But you two are learning lessons surrounding communication and how to communicate where we work as a team even when we're angry even when we're frustrated even when we're in conflict and how to build a healthy and stable connection that is going to grow okay so that's the lesson I see here in this connection whether you have been together or whether you have not that's the lesson I see here and whether you decide to move forward with this is your choice but with the world card showing up at the back of the deck and here the purpose of this connection is to end cycles so I just say be aware of that it's a key to your soul's evolution okay if you were to go ahead towards this I feel like 
There could be potential of opening up doors to new beginnings with the full card. Um, and loyalty, since we had the dog on the full card. And something could arise from it, but the future is... There's no outcome yet, unless we make the choice with the lovers. Does that make sense? There is no outcome yet, unless we make the choice and we open the key to the door and we see what's on the other side. So it's like spirit doesn't have an outcome for you, but the fool is all about taking a leap of faith. So that's the message I see here. In terms of your feelings towards them, I see a lot of sensuality here. I see a lot of this feeling of you wanting to move towards them and take action towards them and create a successful connection. Um, I see right now there is a lot of attraction in your connection towards each other with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, Ace of Wands tells me there's a lot of attraction here, a lot of physical attraction you both feel towards each other. And a lot of like sensual attraction, a lot of sensuality, feelings of passion you have towards one another. That is your connection right now with the Ace of Wands. Uh, but there's also this feeling of we could create sweetness here. We could create more sweetness and transform the energy with the butterfly. Because uh, butterflies are transformation. So in essence, to be completely honest, oh, this card just fell when I got the deck. Eight of stones, eight of pentacles. Um, you could work on it. You could, you could grow. It's not saying completely no. It's like the star card. One foot is in the door and one foot is out for them in terms of their feelings. So one side of them wants to, the other side of them doesn't. But it's something you can work on. It's something you can grow. It's not a complete no. That's my complete honest answer on if they feel the same way. So let's get some cards on why you feel so drawn to them. Okay, so... Um, and with the lovers, I feel the purpose here of your connection is to create harmony, even in challenging moments, even in conflict. To create harmony and to work on yourselves and to grow. So your connection feels quite karmic, but we can create something out of it with the magician at the back of the deck. Um, so spirit guides on my pile number threes. And I'm hearing it's not going to be easy. But, like I said, the purpose here is your soul's evolution and growth for both of you in love. Okay, so we have the Eight of Mirrors, the Eight of Cups for you, for why you feel so drawn to them. And we have the Ten of Mirrors, Ten of Cups. So if this is a past connection and they did leave, we have the Six of Scrolls, Six of Swords at the back of the deck. Maybe things have changed where maybe you've grown to be a little bit more nurturing towards them with the elephant. Elephants remind me of nurturing energy. And if they didn't leave, then maybe sub some part of your subconscious, your soul, is remembering that feeling of the separation in the past life between the two of you and your soul is maybe wanting to grow that or build that connection again to change the outcome because the Merlins want to pop out, the hero, to change the outcome um, to a more loving one because we have the Ten of Cups. So, um... Do they feel as drawn to pile number three as, as pile three does? So we have the six of stones, six of pentacles. So they do feel they want to be generous towards you. We have the kasar with the knight of spirals, the knight of swords. Kind of reminds me of Captain Hook. <laughs> we have the eight of spirals, which is the eight of wands. I think they're open to taking action towards you, but at the same time, we have the Four of Cups wanting to come out, Four of Mirrors. At the same time, there's this feeling of, to be honest, like, I don't know if I like this person's energy so much. 
like yes they can yes you can crush on them and there's a lot of attraction here and this can grow and proceed to more but I also feel like this person I'm not I'm not blaming them and I'm not saying they're the cause for the conflict I'm not saying that at all but in some way I do feel like you know how there's certain people let me just describe this uh you know how there's certain people where like let's say you become friends with them and they maybe have that type of personality that is a little bit more or a little bit less harmonic with people and maybe they're learning more lessons around conflict if we look at it from a more 5d perspective a higher perspective maybe they're learning a lot of lessons surrounding conflict and maybe you see them get into a lot of drama with their friends with their family with people around them and it's it's a cycle that is happening within their life okay and when you look at them and your connection you know sometimes you may have conflicts here and there um it's not like they're causing the conflicts but it's happening but then when you look at your other connections to other people it's like you're not you're not having conflict with them you're it's totally harmonic we have six of cups at the back of the deck so either past life energy or past energies and I'm not saying that this person isn't someone you should go towards because right behind that we have the Ace of Scrolls. This is a soul contract. Um and it's a key to it's a key to changing things energetically for you and growing and learning. But then at the same time, I also just want to say don't put all your hopes on this person because I feel like they have a lot of lessons to learn they have a lot of growth to do on themselves they have a lot of work to do on themselves and it's not fair if they were to put all the blame on you because I feel like if this person was to really look at their life are they really satisfied with all their connections that's what I feel here with the four of cups like and this kind of reminds me of Captain Hook and like how he was the villain in that story. So I'm getting this vibe with the Knight of Swords. Like they wouldn't mind taking action towards you and the Eight of Wands. But then I'm also feeling like, are they willing to grow? Are they willing to work on themselves? And I think that's a question up to them and choice and free will. So what I would say here as advice is take a leap of faith, but don't expect too much from this person. Allow it to be, allow them to make a choice with their free will and see what happens from there. That's what I want to say from my take of the energy. But of course, you probably know this person better than me. I'm just reading the energy. But what I will say is this is definitely either a past situation, six of cups at the back of the deck, or past life connection that is a little bit more karmic. But we can, it doesn't mean it can't change. It doesn't mean we can't evolve or make different choices this time around and grow as people and work on ourselves and work on healing the connection and bringing harmony to the connection so um what advice do you have for pile number three to take action towards this person we have the eight of scrolls the eight of swords we have the four of stones the four of pentacles This kind of looks like um, a psychic ball. Um, at the back of the deck, we have the Nine of Mirrors, Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is all about wish fulfillment. I'm getting the message, dream big, but don't expect too much. And also don't let the story of this reading change um, how you feel about it and change your mindset on it. 
um, because the star is right behind. So I'm getting this message of dream big. The storyteller, don't let the story of what's told in the energy here influence you and your mindset in a way. So take all of this with a grain of salt is the message here. Um, but use it as more so advice. Because one thing I will say about energy and readings, when we do love readings and things like that, feelings can change. People can grow. Energies can change. I've done readings for people where it looks this way today and in two weeks the energy completely changed. The outcome completely changes. So the energy here is not set in stone. Don't let it keep you stuck but let it rather empower you with wisdom and knowledge to make um to change the outcome, if that makes sense. So don't let the story of what I say influence your mindset. Still dream big, but don't have any expectations. And with the phoenix here, you're always going to rise above any challenges. Know that. Go towards your wish. Even if um, it's not as easy, it's a little bit more challenging here with the Eight of Swords. You can still find a treasure within this with the Four of Pentacles. And find something you can hold on, whether it's a lesson, whether it's wisdom, whether it's a key to a beautiful connection. You know, you could outgrow this. You could outgrow this karmic connection. You can completely change the energies. But what I will say, it takes free will from the both of you and a choice from the both of, both of you. Okay, so now let's end off with your oracle card. Um, so spirit guides on my pile number threes. Can we end off with some oracle cards and messages from this person? So we have the Seas of Mataka with seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. So Mataka energy, when we look at starseed energy, um, it is a planet full of love. It is a planet full of this vibration of unconditional love when you look at the beings there. So this card talks about um, connecting to unconditional love, connecting to this very nurturing and empathetic energy. So if we were to create a connection with this person, how can we be more empathetic towards ourselves and our own growth? Because we're not perfect. We're still growing. We're still human. Every human goes through these challenges and goes through these lessons and we grow and evolve from that. So don't beat yourself up if you find yourself going off the path. You will always bring yourself back, you know, um, but also have compassion towards this person and try to understand and try to have compassion towards them on why they have these emotional reactions. Did they grow up in a family that was very emotionally volatile? Did they grow up in an environment like that? Did they not get or receive a lot of um, support or love? Or did they not see healthy examples of love growing up? Those are all questions to ask yourself. But see the potential within this that it can grow into something more if we really connect to our emotions and our heart space. Um, we have lost land, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. That's confirmation because this card talks about soul memories from past lives and what we've already done before, a sense of deja vu. And then we have the child of the cosmos with the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So the message from this person is to follow your intuition. Your intuition will always tell you best and take action from what your intuition is telling you. Um... So that's what I have for you today. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye.